operation site falls apart. Well, we're a platform provider, um, and uh, we continue to encourage companies like Little, you know, who's offering this type of innovative solution. Um, we're looking at ensuring that we continue to digitize, you know, um, organizations, you know, ensure that there is enhanced security, ensure that there is better productivity, you know, um, and uh, the systems that you're using are intelligent. Now to your developing story, most Kenyans have innovated ways to survive without the banned non-biodegradable plastic carrier bags. As our Caroline B. found out, traders are improvising ways of coping with life after the ban in one of the busy markets here in Nairobi. Plastic bags have gone from being a tolerated nuisance to a discouraged and despised item. If it is not filling the streets, it is blocking drainage systems, tainting wildlife parks, and even being used as fecal disposal bags, hence the ban. But a section of Kenyans have moved on. Traders have embraced plenty of alternatives, which are now in stock. <laughs> Mudurwa Market, active and lively as usual. I'm here to find out how small traders are packaging merchandise for their customers following the sanction. <laughs> Stephen is a pineapple seller. He neatly cuts the ripe fruit into edible pieces, which are then put on display for all to see. He still has stock of the banned polythene bags, and once it's over, he will think of an alternative. <laughs> Next to him is a clothing stable. They too have been forced to use strands to wrap their clothes. At a different corner of the market, customers have locked at this maize point. The maize was previously boiled and sold inside polythene bags. All that is no more. wet. And if you are planning on buying cabbages, you can borrow a leaf from this man, either carry it in your hands or put it in your bag. In the charcoal section, things are no different. Not forgetting Mogoka vendors, they too are a sad lot. Anita sells cooked chicken meat. She has resorted to using toothpicks for her instant customers. Street urchins too have been affected by the ban. If you haven't gone to the market since the ban took effect, the writing is clear. Bring your own shopping bag. Caroline B, KTN News. So we we'll leave it on the broadcast tonight. Thank you for watching. Remember, after this commercial break, Moses Ohesi will be bringing the latest in the world of sports and our post-election.